handle to the outside, but I think some of this got to do with it's got a different size tire on this side, so I think it's throwing off the balance of the car. But uh, I do plan on getting it lined up. Hopefully, I want to make sure all the tires are the same at first anyway, but yeah, hopefully we can get it lined up soon and uh, maybe it'll be straight in. But right now, I'm on the way to the house, hopefully to uh, go pick up the B16 Civic and uh, we can talk about that and go over that with y'all. I mean, it's just content behind content, guys. back in on Rambo and I'm pushing the envelope guys I'm pushing the envelope so it is like 426 I'm doing pretty good though I think because I am on that stretch between Lewisburg and Franklinton so I don't have but about 15 20 minutes left give or take how the traffic get up in this 35 zone so we should be right on the money before James leaves work I've already got the cash I've already put some more gas in this shit because the truck was like completely out of gas. So we should be good to go. But yeah, we are on the way to pick up the B16 guys and bring it on back home. Um, I got one or two more little things I'm gonna do to it, but I probably won't even include that on video. I want to put that new uh, pin in the shift like linkage at the bottom. I want to put that new pin I got into that. And uh, we got to put a set of tires on it. Those tires are completely shot. And it should be good to drive. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to roll all of the footage from the dyno tuning. Whatever James has recorded. I'm going to roll all of that. Enjoy the footage. I will catch y'all after. <laughs> Dale left us his B16 coupe today. Uh, he's got the Jack Spaniel racing headers on. Right now it's open header. I got it on the lift. I'm gonna get her up in the air, connect the header to the exhaust. Then we're we'll gonna get her on the dyno for a retune. She's in the air. This is what we got going on. He had the header bolted on with a turn down. We're just gonna connect these two pieces. He's giving me a piece of pipe to throw in here, just weld it up, but there won't be no flex joint. That's uh, not gonna work. So we're gonna add a flex joint right here. You'll see it when it's done. Exhaust is hooked up. Get her on the dyno. All right, we're strapped down. Crank it up and warm her up. Get some heat in it. Hasn't really ran much this morning. We're gonna do a baseline on the computer he's been running, same chip. Looks like we last tuned this thing in 2020 and it made 150 horsepower. I could be wrong. Dale might have to correct me on that, he's not here. But uh, last file I could pull up from, from this car was from 2020 and it made 150 horsepower. Let that temp gauge rise some and uh, back to it while the temp gauge works on coming up just in case i haven't went over this well enough dale's back with the b16 a2 civic we tuned this thing in 2020 with a different header on it jack spaniel racing has supplied them with this one we've installed it we've hooked it up to the exhaust see what it does this first pull will be just a baseline on the chip 
that the car's been running on. I hope we can pull that off. It's, uh, it's idling pretty lean. There's the air fuels. So hopefully the air fuels are good enough to take her to Redline to see where she stands right now before we put any tuning equipment in it. Give her a pull. So, last pull from 2020 was the blue run 50 150 horsepower 108 torque that baseline pull was 156 and 110 and here they are overlaid really only gained up top and we did go lean but uh we're gonna work on correcting that now All right, I've got the uh, air fuel straightened out. I think we're gonna try a baseline pull or the first pull since I've put the tune equipment in it. Let's see how it goes. fuels everything seemed good but we got an issue I don't know if you could tell when I uh, let out there throw it in neutral it sounded like it never came out of gear our clutch pedal is stuck to the floor I think we've had a bit of a failure Ooh. yeah we just lost everything That uh, might be our issue. We've lost a bolt out of the clutch slave cylinder. And she's cocked up at an angle and the clutch slave piston has shot out of it. And we've lost fluid. Yeah, I guess uh, we'll have to take care of this and then we'll be back in business. see what she made though that pool was 158 horsepower almost 159 and then 113 torque that was our red run again the blue run is our baseline from 2020 on an old exhaust manifold the car has definitely picked up but uh air fuels are good I'm pretty much done tuning but can't go any further or try anything else until we resolve the clutch slave issue. She's uh, she popped out. We lost all the fluid. Filled her up full of fluid. New slave cylinders on. There's the old one in pieces. Let's bleed her out. Continue on.
little more bleeding. back in action. I think that's all she wrote for this at last pool 160 horsepower 113 torque vtex cleaned up from the run before the last run was the green run air fuels are good can't find no more power in it 160 is our final number up 10 horsepower from two years ago see you next time All loaded up, boys. Time to make our way back to the house. So guys, that's pretty much going to wrap this video up. We did gain, man. That was that was good. I was hoping for the 10 wheel. We gained the 10 wheel. So it's definitely working. Again, remember, we did put this back to the two and a quarter, two and a half inch cat back that's already on the car. So yeah, we are, we are still firing right out of this. Um, and we still gained 10 wheel horsepower 
and about five about five foot pounds of torque so it's really fucking working man and james says that he believes it's mostly because of the collector the collector on these is a full three inch where he says most of them you see will be like a two and a half so he thinks that's where the biggest of the power gains are coming from i also believe that because these two runners here don't just slope off the engine like the um ebay one i had i think it's just breathing man you can tell like if you really look at the dyno graph up top it's just it's pulling so good on the top end and it was not like that before so like you see like up top look at that's where the biggest difference is like at the peak which is around a little over eight grand to 8300 that thing was pulling at the top end and that's that's got to be that restriction man and uh so we opened it up good so i'm super happy with that again huge shout out to jack spain racing for shooting us this uh nice ass big tube turn down style header but it does come with a v-band so you can run the turn down if you want if not you're perfectly fine running um your full exhaust you just have to modify it to fit i will be linking this header down below again i did link it in the last video so i will be linking that header again if any of you guys are interested in checking it out guys it's super super effective man and, and me and my brother we were actually looking at it way before i even put it on and um we were discussing that same collector man it is like the hugest collector ever bro for us for these headers so uh, it does work you see now so with that being said guys i'm gonna wrap this video up here i hope y'all enjoyed it make sure you smack the like button for me we got so much content to come so catch y'all next one remember respect all bills peace out